Тема од Брисел стигна порака дека сакаат да го забрзаат процесот на проширување со земјите од Западен Балкан. Сите се шест земји, вклучително и Македонија. Сметате дека 2030 година е реална цел? Теоретикли е може би. I will tell you, I was just in, in Budva at uh, a conference. Miroslav Lychak was there, uh, former President Pahor was there. There, uh, there was a Romanian who is the special envoy for the Balkans. I will tell you, what I heard them say personally, re repeatedly, is that the war in Ukraine, Russia's unprovoked invasion of Ukraine, has really changed the, the, the thinking in Europe, including in France, which uh, made a terrible mistake uh, blocking this country back in uh, 2019, after the Prespa Agreement. So I'm told these uh, EU officials really believe, they're saying this, that they really believe that there is a new uh, understanding in Europe, in Brussels, and in the capitals like Paris and others, that about enlargement, and that they recognize that this is crucial for Europe against this threat from Putin. So there is a risk that they will only focus on Moldova and Ukraine and neglect the Balkans, because uh, they can say, look at the, all of these issues they haven't resolved, Bulgaria, this, Kosovo, Serbia, this, look, Montenegro, Bosnia-Herzegovina, all the, you know, and so they can easily give an excuse. And, and that's why it, it is a, a very important. In my view, 2030, I can't say that that year necessarily, but I have to say that there, I do believe that there is a new serious uh, uh, approach towards enlargement in the European Union that was not there before Putin invaded Ukraine. А ви споменавте билатералните предизвици што ги имаат земјите од регионот, меѓу нив и оние меѓу Косово и Србија, во Скопје допатувавте од Приштина. Каква е вашата оценка за политичката и безбедносната состојба таму? Look, uh, this is a proof I think everyone has to wake up after this uh, what we saw in Banska on uh, 24th of September. And by the way, I'm coming here just now from uh, Kosovo. Yesterday I was up in Banska. I went and uh, visited absolutely right uh, to the monastery myself. I talked with Serbs in the north. I, I met with uh, officials in, uh, in Pristina as well. Everyone has to wake up, including here in this country. This was extremely serious event for the entire region, this massive amount of uh, ammunition. The, this uh, between at least 30 to 40 uh, heavily armed uh, Serbs coming in there with all sorts of vehicles, military vehicles. This clearly had to be done with state support of Serbia. If they had managed to, to organize themselves, imagine how many people would have been killed. Maybe even K-4 soldiers, possibly U.S. soldiers, would have been killed, would have been ca called in to come in between. A very serious event. We know what would happen, even in this case, where one Albanian police. Here's the reality. This is the proof that Belgrade has hostile intentions towards Kosovo. So everyone has to wake up to that, no matter what we, we think. And this is not to say that Albin Korti is, uh, is free and, and is uh, wonderful and has no responsibility. He also has his responsibility. But we cannot equate that with bringing in uh, 30 and 40 guys with arms, weapons, grenades, uh, killing a uh, Kosovo police officer. What, we, what is this? What is this? So we, everyone in this country has to wake up to the real, the reality of Serbia under Alexander Vucic and, and has to understand that this is, this is proof of a hostile intentions. And the U.S., what I've said, I asked uh, Miroslav Lychak about this in Budva. I said this, it's on my Twitter account. You can hear my question to him. The U.S. and EU should present Kosovo and Serbia with a take it or leave it deal now. Serious deal to implement this agreement and move this forward and, and finally solve this. Smetate da ka to je vozmošno, bideki do segašnjete napori za deeskalacija, a potoja i normalizacija na odnosite nevrodija so plot? Well, I think that, I think it's possible. I think it, it is, but we have to remember that uh, there, there, has to, there has to be strong U.S. and EU pressure now. And 
before all we saw was pressure on Kosovo. That's all we saw. We saw pressure on, on Kurti, criticism of, on Kurti, and, and nothing on Vucic, nothing praising Vucic. Even after uh, May 29th, when uh, Serbs with Molotov cocktails and guns were shooting K4, seriously wounding. One Hungarian soldier lost his leg, could have been killed. After, even after that, all of the blame went to Kurti, and they were praising Vucic at the time. So it was no surprise, two weeks later, Serbia comes into Kosovo, which I believe, based on w what I hear, Serbia comes in and kidnaps three uh, Kosovo police, or does this event in uh, September 24th in Banska. This is, this is the mistake. US and EU have to be serious and get that uh, 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 to de-escalation. And yes, to have proper representation of Kosovo Serbs so that they uh, come back to Kosovo institutions, elect uh, their mayors, have representatives there, and be accepted and, and uh, integrated into Kosovo society and be respected as full citizens in Kosovo. That's what we want. Of course, this is part of it. But look, you, we have to see here now, after, after 24th of uh, September, uh, uh, the, the policy cannot be, oh, Kosovo, you do the association, and then later on we will see about what Serbia has to do. We saw Vucic refuse to sign even the agreement, said he's not bound by it. He can block Kosovo. They vetoed Kosovo in Council of Europe, which is a complete violation of that agreement. And let's remember, Council of Europe would benefit Kosovo Serbs. They could have access to European Court of Human Rights. It would be good for Kosovo Serbs. But I want to be very clear here to everyone, Alexander Vucic does not have the interest of Kosovo Serbs uh, of what he wants. He has Alexander Vucic's interest. He likes to exploit Kosovo Serbs, not protect them. So, uh, uh, so he is a real problem here, and, and we need to uh, uh, improve the situation for Kosovo Serbs so that they are full citizens within Kosovo.